Hi everybody, welcome to this Lightroom tutorial. In this episode we're going to go through a live edit and we're going to look at how we can add a bit more of a feeling of a sunset to this picture. Because we've all done it, we've gone to the right place at the right time but Mother Nature just decided there wasn't going to be a sunset that day. So ordinarily everything would be lost, you'd waste your time, the picture isn't really worth much of anything. But you can emphasise certain areas on the picture to try and recreate the sunset after the effect. So at the top here I've just done basic changes, I've pulled the highlights down, lifted the shadows off a little bit of clarity and I've dropped the exposure a little bit. We may well come back and change this afterwards but it gives us a starting point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the colour temperature up here, I'm going to drag this temperature and warm the picture up quite significantly. I'm also use a, a slight tint to start introduce some pink colour to the sky. Now what I'm keeping an eye on here is the foreground. I don't want to go too far globally because the foreground will look a little bit peculiar. So we've got a basis at a start so we'll use the graduated filter. If you've got settings in here, if you just double click the word effect at the top it will zero it out for you. We're going to drag a gradient down just past um, the horizon line because the way your gradient works the full effect will be at the top and it will peter out towards the bottom so we want it to ensure that we are getting the effect at the lowest part of the sky and again with this all we're going to do is we're going to warm it up and we're going to increase that tint and I think that will do us for now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the brush tool and down the bottom here the density I'm going to drop this down to around about 40 uh, flow about 50% uh, feather 87 and all I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the tint slider I'm going to shift it all the way up to start with we can always adjust this and I'm just going to look the sun is here um, but we'll suppose that the reddest part of the sunset would be along this directly on the horizon line. So all I'm going to do I'm going to paint along there and we're just going to move that density up a little bit to about 60 and I'm just going to paint along the horizon line. And I'm going to create a new brush and I'm going to drop that tint down a bit but I'm going to warm up quite a lot with the yellows and I'm just going to paint above that area and perhaps just a little bit around these clouds here I'm going to create another new brush I'm going to move both of these sliders all the way up I'm going to come down to the density I'm going to move this up to around about 80. Reduce the size of the brush. You may not be able to see the size of the brush that I'm using. This capture software for some reason doesn't capture the actual size of the tool that you're using. So my apologies about that. But uh, I'm keeping a brush that's roughly the size of this tree here. And again I'm just going to run across the bottom. so it's got more of a redder feel towards the bottom so generally with the sunsets you'll find it's quite red towards the bottom and it moves into oranges and yellows so that's what we're trying to recreate so we've added a significant amount of colour there but overall it's probably still too bright so what we'll do is we'll come up to the exposure first we'll take that exposure down a little bit and I'm actually going to take the shadows down a little bit just to darken the foreground a little bit more so it's more in keeping with the sky. And we'll look down to the bottom and we'll put a vignette. My go to figure is generally around about 18. Um, I generally don't deviate too much from there. I think it darkens it enough without being too obvious. So overall, we're getting there. I think we could perhaps just do with um, taking the temperature up just a little bit more and the tint a little bit more overall. I'll perhaps just bring that shadow up again ever so slightly. 
So there you have it, there's our mock sunset. Now we do have a before here, so that's our before. And that's our after. Before and after. So just remember, if Mother Nature does play a bit of a double whammy and robs you of a, a nice sunset, there is still something you can do in post. Is it as good as the real thing? Absolutely not. But sometimes we don't always get to choose the weather and we don't get to dictate when we do or don't get a sunset. So as long as you have these tools available to you, you may as well make use of them. Um, and I'd like to think that the trip wasn't completely wasted. This is only a local um, spot for me, so it's not like there was a great deal of energy involved in getting there at sunset. But nevertheless, at least I'd like to say I came back with something. That's it from me. Till the next time. Bye for now.